Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs, and this is my third project in my Attention Shoppers series. This little bundle is just the cutest, I, I think it's my favorite in our new annual catalog. Um, it has the shopping cart, but I challenge myself to make a project without the shopping cart. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this little treat box. Inside are these delicious Hershey's triple chocolate cakes. I got mine at Walmart. Um, but you know, I, uh, you can get them probably lots of places. I put a link on my blog to Amazon where they are in case you can't find them or you want to see what they look like there. It's there too. All right, let's make the box first. We're going to need a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock that is six by nine and a half. Let me move these over. And on the long side, we're going to score it at half an inch, three and a half, five and eight. Turn it to the short side and score it at one and a half and four and a half. All right, grab your bone folder and let's burnish those lines. Using your bone folder will help you get these lines nice and crisp so that your box is square and it stands up and looks pretty. Okay, so now for the cutting, the first thing that we're gonna do here, see this half inch? That's gonna be this little lip right here that tucks into the box. We wanna cut off these squares or rectangles right here. Okay, so cut those off like that. You also wanna cut the corners off of these. I don't know what's on my scissors, but they look like they have been through something. <laughs> Okay, now we have these four tabs right here. We're gonna cut these lines. Try to cut right down the center of your score line. I find that in my rush to do this, I am kind of sloppy and I will cut either on the outside or the inside of the score line. And that kind of can make your box not be perfect. So try real hard to do that. All right, now I'm also cutting the corners off of these tabs. Again, right through, and then corner, corner. Now, one thing I used to do with my boxes is I would cut these two um, to be half an inch as well so that all the little tabs would be equal, but I found that the lid would fall down into the box. So I started leaving them, and I'm gonna show you what you need to do to them to make them go in the box a little bit easier. But first, let's adhere this. I'm gonna use liquid glue, and if I can get my clothespins. I've got some little clothespins here. Um, here where I live, it's very, very humid, so I have found through my experience that liquid glue is the thing that will hold it together even through the humidity. So use your adhesive of choice. I'm sure you know what works in your area. Um, tear and tape is great. So is our Stamp and Seal Plus. But I just have found here, especially this time of year, I mean, it's like swimming outside in the humidity that it's just best to use this liquid glue. All right, so I have folded them up into the inside and I have put my clothespins um, to hold it down so that I don't have to sit here and hold it. All right, now to get these to go in, you'll find that if you leave them like that, they don't, they won't go in because of these corners. So all you have to do is just cut off these corners like this, and it will slide into your box much easier. Now, of course, we have these clothespins here, but when we are done, I will show you. Okay, let's set that aside to dry. And let's do the coloring, this cute little stamp set. Um, I thought this would make a nice little birthday treat. So we'll do a birthday cake. We'll do, I just love this wine bottle. I am not a wine drinker, but I love the wine bottle. I love the way this stamp set is drawn. Whoever the artist was, this is my style of drawing. I love it, it's adorable. Kudos to whoever drew it. Okay, let's start with the cake. I'm gonna use Blackberry Bliss um, 
Pretty in Pink, Lost Lagoon, and we're gonna use copper, a little bit of copper clay. Oh, and Smoky Slate. All right, so I'm gonna start with my light. Oh, and I forgot the Daffodil Delight. We need a Daffodil Delight for our um, flames on our candle. All right, so I'm gonna color this and just with light, Pretty in Pink, okay? Then I'm gonna take my dark Pretty in Pink and I'm using the bullet tip. And I'm gonna run it like this, under and above the, the little um, squiggly line, wavy line, okay? Just to create some dimension. Then I'm gonna use my, well, dropping everything now, my light Blackberry Bliss and color in that um, little icing section. Now, if you're not a real big into coloring, I think these images are small and easy to color, so don't worry. All right, let's move to the wine bottle. I'm gonna take a light Lost Lagoon and color that. And then you can leave it like that if you want, but if you take your dark, and you run it down the edge and around the label. This is gonna give you some dimension. It kind of looks like a shadow. And then you can take, you can leave it like that, or you can just take your light and kind of blend those out like that. All right, um, there's a little, you know, the lip up here of our bottle. I'm gonna use the dark. And then I'm gonna use light copper clay for the cork. All right, for our flowers, I'm gonna do three in Blackberry Bliss Light. Now, you don't really need to do any shading on these. They're tiny and, I mean, they're just easy. You just color them in. So we'll do Blackberry Bliss and Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink has become my new go-to color, almost said flavor, kind of like a flavor. It's one of our new in colors. All right, now I ta am taking my uh, dark smoky slate and I'm just adding some polka dots to the wrapping of the flowers. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm gonna add some Wink of Stella to my cake. All right, now we have the matching dies for these, so for the sake of the video, however, I already cut them out. All right. Okay, now I have cut out a postage, um, a postage square. And we're gonna, um, postage rectangles, I think is what the die is called, but it's actually a square. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stamp just for you. And it just barely fits. So I would recommend stamping first and then cutting it out with the die, make it a little bit easier. I have a Blackberry Bliss stylish shape circle, and uh, this is the second largest in the set. All right, now this is gonna be a tight fit, okay? So we're gonna have to get creative and kind of squish all these things in. I'm gonna slide, no, I want that to be in the front like that. I'm gonna slide the wine bottle underneath a little bit. like that. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing with our cake. All right, let's see if I can, I may have to do this like this and then slide it under. There we go, we've got it all on there. Okay, now take your pretty and pink ribbon. I think I forgot to open mine. I have a brand new bolt. Let's just slice that. And this is, um, like I said, Pretty in Pink is one of our new in colors, and each of our new in colors has its own bolt of ribbon. Um, this ribbon, when you look at it, looks like it's gonna be thick, but it's not. It's actually very light and soft and really easy to use. I'm really loving this new ribbon. Sometimes the ribbon is bulky and it doesn't tie well. That's not this ribbon. All right, let's bring our box back. I'm sure we've had time to dry. 
we'll put our Hershey cake in there. And then we're gonna take these and we're gonna slide them in. Remember how I told you, it, it, when you cut those corners off, it makes it easy to, to uh, slide that in. All right, now a piece of designer series paper, which mine has suddenly gone rogue. Nope, here it is. And we're gonna put this on, this is the Unbound Beauty designer series paper. Put that right there. And then we will take a couple of dimensionals and put on our circle and we're done. Now I always say, you know, if you work in an office or a school, make some of these up, put them in your desk drawer and whenever it's somebody's birthday, pull them out and hey, you've got a surprise for them. And they didn't even know that you made it, you know, two months ago. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoy this project. Let me know if you have questions. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I've got two other Attention Shoppers projects with videos as well. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.